वेलकम टू ऑल आर व्यूअर्स हियर एट सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन लेट्स डाइव इन टू दिस न्यूज सेगमेंट विद सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन मेगा एक्सक्लूसिव द अहमदी मॉस्क इज अंडर अटैक इन कराची अनोन पर्सन ब्रोक इन एंड द मिसक्रीम्स ऑफ अहमदी मस्जिद इन सदर इन कराची एंड दे मैनेज टू एस्केप नाउ इन द आफ्टरनून सम पीपल वेरिंग हेलमेट्स केम विद लैडर एंड एस्केप आफ्टर Uh, taking some action this is the second incident in a month earlier the minarets of ahmadi jamaat khata on jamshed road were demolished now police was also present at the spot local sources said that the attackers pro- from tlp for more details let's quickly go across to siddhant mishra our correspondent joining me on the phone line siddhant uh, this is very disturbing news coming in if you could just take us through some more details of course the visuals go on to elaborate on uh, this uh, attack that's taken place but could you share more details about these miscreants well absolutely and in fact uh, uh, these uh, uh, these pictures are coming from karachi and we have been told that amadi mosque is under attack in karachi and some people wearing helmets came with a ladder and escaped after the accident this is the second incident in a month earlier the minarets of ahmadi jamaat khata on jamshed road were demolished police was also present at the spot local sources said that the attackers were from tlp uh, now uh, if you if you uh, if you look at the development then this is not the first time that uh, mosque in pakistan is under attack in fact tlp mistrian uh, uh, have been making attack on uh, on the ter- on the mosque in uh, pakistan there is a second such attack and also this is a follow up of a recent blast which took place mm. uh, in tower inside the mosque where uh, which resulted in many casualties so so you know it again raises questions on the on the on the uh, on the security of resources in pakistan and this could in fact into more trouble for shahbaz shah government that their own resources are not safe. the minister in the so much has only raised question on the safety of the religious sector in pakistan i mean at the petawar blast mm. the person who who triggered the detonator was very calm absolutely siddhant important to talk about it's important to talk about how pakistan is bleeding not just when it comes to economy but also the kind of terror attacks we've seen and remember this attack that we are seeing is uh, by a hardline outfit like the tlp important to take our viewers through uh, what the tehreek e lebek pakistan means for the country and how they've been known as a very militant outfit in pakistan itself well look i uh, mean the outfits are backed by the own uh, uh, uh and in fact uh, pakistan is a prize of uh, of supporting terrorism of and and you know the terrorists which they used to export to india and other countries before are are now are now carrying out attacks in pakistan only and this is nothing but a result of the pana to terror group now pakistan fact, statement yesterday uh, also uh, highlighted same points which i think and he clearly said that first uh, pakistan sided with us to counter russia and afghanistan then in that uh, pakistan again helped us uh, uh, to counter taliban and that in fact resulted such with for pakistan where there are a lot of migrants coming from afghanistan and settling down uh, you know unemployment is in right. the troops are coming up uh, they are now terror and at lawless economic doldrum and government All right, Siddhant, we'll try and re-establish your connection. Your voice is breaking. Let me also quickly go across uh, to Sushant Sareen, who's joining me on the phone line. Sushant, the visuals that we are viewing right now are extremely disturbing. And as we are all aware, this is not a first attack at one of the Ahmadi mosques. This is the second attack that's happening. Not to forget the Peshawar blast. what's happening to the pakistan economy as well uh, this only goes on to show the kind of plight that that's taking place but the first question that arises is what is the shehbaz sharif government doing especially when it comes to taming hardliner groups like the tlp uh they simply they're twiddling their thumbs and doing nothing uh, they've never done anything <coughs> they've actually always surrendered before uh, the forces of fanaticism in pakistan 
uh, yes, you know, they go on to world stages. They, uh, you know, put people like uh, Bilawal Bhutto and Hina Rabbani Khar uh, out uh, on global stages mm. to, you know, talk nice stuff mm. to the perfumed people of the world. But back home, uh, there are these regular pogroms which are uh, carried out against minority communities. Uh, and the Ahmadis, of course, uh, uh, are given the worst treatment possible, exactly. worse even the Hindus. Uh, and this is an ongoing kind of a thing. So uh, really, uh, there's no novelty in this anymore. It does not even invite. Uh, it does not even invite any outrage among uh, you know the human rights entrepreneurs in the world, like the Human Rights Council of the United Nations, or even for that matter, uh, you know all these American busybodies who are always hectoring and sermonizing to India about tolerance. Yes, uh, it's almost as though they've given a free hand. Uh, to the Islamists in Pakistan to continue doing what they are doing uh, and nobody bats an eye. Alright, Sushant, so I'm so bye. sorry to interrupt you right now. We are cutting across to local.